Hello, welcome to Sergei's Chemistry. Today we are going to look at the reaction between copper 2 oxide and carbon. Both are solids and the carbon is quite above copper in reactivity series, so it can well reduce its ions. Here how the copper 2 oxide looks like, quite like the charcoal powder. Simply copper 2 oxide powder is much more dense. If you mix them together, you have gray-black mixture, and then it requires a lot of heating as it's reaction between two solids. After a few minutes, we can expect to see some sign of reaction. First, it will be change of color, appearance of some brownish tinge, and formation of the gas. You see some cracks in the compacted solid. Hopefully, this is carbon dioxide formed and some brownish tinge appears, maybe it's copper, but reaction can be a bit more violent, now it starts in earnest. Reaction is exothermic, so I can remove the flame. You see how carbon dioxide foam throws up jets of solid. Metallic copper is formed, Let's look at it again at a bit higher magnification. See how the progress of reaction changes the color from black to brown. Okay, it seems that was a success. What happened to the test tube? Pink color at the bottom because of stuck pieces of copper. But what was inside? More or less uniform brownish mixture with some brighter inclusions. Brownish because of microscopic pieces of copper, but what are these brighter particles? Let's look a bit closer at them. Here they are. All shades from pink through yellow to brown. A bit small, about one millimeter across, but very hard. And if you clean them up, you can see these are indeed solid pieces of metal made of tiny particles fused together. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, put likes to the video and see you next time. Bye.